Hey guys, I'm out in McDonough, as you can see, beautiful, beautiful homes out here. And about to walk the model home with you. Um, a client is building out here. And uh, he said, you gotta go see the model because when we came down here, we went under contract probably about seven months ago. They had nothing but land, so it's, um, it's great to actually see a model. So these are actually going to be, they have three bedrooms from the high threes and four and five bedrooms. This is their four bedroom, I believe she said, um, in the 400s. All slab lots, great school district, uh, about three, three and a half miles to McDonough Square here in Henry County. So let's take a look at what this model home of course, they're going to um, stage it to the T, so, but it gives you a really good idea of how to decorate. So you see, this is their hallway. Over here to the right is a great home office. Ooh, I love that desk. Great backdrop showing you. Of course, you're just gonna get the regular, you know, gray or white color uh, walls, but just giving you some ideas. Let me give you ideas of layout. I could fit a nice little chair in that corner. That's really cool. Um, so this could be, like I said, a home office. This is a great home office, by the way. I would love living in here with, um, or working in here with all this light, um, with the French doors. It's really, really nice. Um, great idea here with the air shelves and a nice long kind of curio. Um, one thing I've noticed on all their floor plans, their kitchens are open, bright, and airy. Um, mostly looking at white and gray cabinets. Um, and as you can see, these are nice size um, counter height stools. Um, and just very, very clean looking, right? You have the nice cabinetry. You, um, when you build from the ground up, it's $25,000 earnest money, which could be broken up if you needed to. Like you wanted to put 12500 and then a month later, another 12500 You can do that as well. But you get the appliances, um, Included minus the refrigerator, wash and dryer. You have a four burner gas cooktop, oven, microwave, beautiful sink. I have to look upstairs because I haven't looked upstairs yet. So I look forward to doing that with you and giving you some ideas. But um, three different packages, I think she said, for the kind of design uh, selections. But this is either, yeah, I think this is quartz, to be honest with you. Um, you got the pantry closet. Very nice. This is where your refrigerator will go. Nice area for your Keurig. I love this. I'm big into design, so this is wonderful. And then back to your front door. Love that accented pop of color. Then you have your dining area in your family room. So here's your dining area. So it's just showing you stage, very simple. You could obviously see you could go bigger than this if you wanted to. You'd probably go an eight seater if you needed to. Love that mirror and light. This is a great look. And then your family room. So it's showing you, you know, pretty good size furniture in here. Two, you know, full size couches in here. Nice size coffee table. Table, uh, like a console table with your TV. Now, when you build, again, you can pick out, if you want to include a fireplace in here, it's going to be gas, gas and electric in this community. Um, but she's, you know, the on site agent was telling me that. Um, you know, most people are actually choosing not to do it, this younger generation, because they feel like it takes up too much space. But if you wanted to, or after the fact, you could put in a nice electric fireplace if you want to. But love these, this flowing down here. Now, look at this. I bet you weren't expecting this. This is just like a little enclave that they've created in this floor plan. Um, I like how they broke it up with the carpet. Of course, you could continue the rev wood in here if you needed to. But it's like, let me sit down. I mean, it's, it's the area to kind of zone out and just read a book, put your feet up, relax. Of course, you can make this into a bar area or a home office. If you didn't want to, you know, you wanted to make that more of a study and make this the home office back there uh, in the front. But uh, love, love, love the space and the big window as well. That's where you come in through your garage. Nice size half bath. Look how big it is. <laughs> uh, pedestal sink, toilet. Love the color in here. Like a rich brown. Closet. Um, I'll see if I can have time at the end of this video to do 
show you the backyard, but um, nice long staircase. Let's see what we got up here. Holy cow, look at this. Wow, this is amazing. So, let's take a look. Great idea, I love design. You have kids, right? Two areas for them to do their homework. This is what I've been trying to explain in some of my videos for Lost Spaces. But the multifunctional look. This could be, obviously, you could put a flat screen TV above here. This is a big, big sectional with Chase, double windows. And all of a sudden, it becomes multifunctional, right? If you've got kids. Now, of course, if you don't need this area, you could push this all the way to the back. Or you could do a movie theater seats if you want to. You could do like a ping pong table, table tennis type of table back here or a music wall, something like that, you know, for speakers and stuff. Um, you actually do surround sound in this house too. You see the speakers. Um, but let's take a look. It looks like they have some of the design packages. So which ones would you choose? There's four different ones to choose from. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like... I'm really liking this light color here, but I think I would do it with the white cabinets, the ice gloss there. Yeah, I think I would. Um, yeah, I think that's my favorite. Maybe this one too. The gray is nice. Calm or fresh. That's my style, but you get to choose. Um, laundry room, nice. Tile. Oh, this is great. I need to get one of these for my house. This is where all your high-speed internet and alarm goes. Great space up here. So nice hallway again. Looking back, looking down. Love the banister, wrought iron look. Ooh, I love the way they decorated this. Look how big the bedrooms are. This is probably a full-size bed showing you with a nightstand and a desk. And then... Love that setup. I gotta need to add one of those, one of my spaces upstairs. I love that mirror. Double closet. <clears throat> love the carpet up here too. It's very nice. Uh, bedroom two. Another really nice size. Love that little transom window with the full window. Look at how much space there are in these rooms. I wanna try to give you dimensions, right? This is a full size. So that tells you if you don't have the desk in here, right? Uh, if there's a girl's room, you could do that kind of a desk or a makeup bar. That would be cute. Um, end table, but you easily could fit a queen or a king size bed in here with the double doors. Hall closet for towels and linens. Got a full bath through here. Nice high cabinetry. Quartz. Yep, that's quartz. Uh, tub shower, 12 inch tile, toilet. Look at the size of this bedroom. Bedroom three. So big, you could fit two twin beds and a, a table in between. I love the decorations in here. Double door closet. Very, very nice. And then let's take a look at the primary. Mmm, nice. I mean, that's definitely a king size bed. When you hear in my videos, when I talk about accent walls, this is what I'm talking about. See how all the walls are kind of that white gray look to it? Give it that pop. Give it that pop. Or you do a trim wall. Um, I mean, those are two big nightstands. You can see there's plenty of space if you wanted to put a long couch here, put a couch or a couple benches or a chase at the end of your bed. But it's showing it. I'll show you from this angle too. Show you the backyards. Which lots are you gonna pick, right? I was um, talking to the agent, and she was like, "This actually was a farm, and the the builder bought them out, and it's all flat land surrounded by trees, and um, kind of off the beaten path, but close enough. Like I said, only ten minutes to the highway." 
grocery stores, great schools over here. And again, let me show you from this angle. If you want to put your TV over there. Walk-in bathroom here. The, the uh, spa bath. Oh, that little tray with the marble. You can go frameless glass. I love that they're giving you tile all the way to the top. Soaking tub, transom window. Love that pop of color again. It's very nice. And then, of course, the walk-in closet. Again, you build from the ground up. Surround sound. And then a nice walk-in closet. You're going to do, like I said, you hear in all my videos, closets by design, California closets. He's one of our carpenters. But checks a lot of boxes. Open, airy, great size, secondary bedrooms, a loft space. I love that little nook behind the family room for like a Zen room, yoga, reading, you know, conversation space. So um, hit me up. I now have a contact with this builder uh, because our client is closing next week. I'm taping this on March of 2023. Three bedrooms starting in the high 300s, four bedrooms in the low 400s, and five bedrooms in the mid to upper 400s. Gorgeous. All right, guys, hit me up. Send me a DM. Schedule a consultation, greathomesatl.com. Um, look forward to Zooming with you. And we'll catch up soon. Make it a great day.